I'm working in the US now. After three years living in chaotic London, I was more than ready to move on to something more slow and quiet. I spent the entire month of June scouting for options online and fell upon a program dedicated to land conservation and preservation within the U.S. National Park System. After a few resume handouts, interviews, and much, much paperwork, I was headed to Chattanooga, Tennessee to start my new job as part of the Southeast Conservation Corps as a crew member. Now I taught the weeping willow how to cry And I showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky And the tears that I cried for that woman are gonna flood you big river Now uh, here's my stuff, right that tap, got my stuff right there, little stool, I met and this accidentally is the bag with the water Minnesota. And it tore me up every time I heard her draw Southern Road. You're off the word. Then I heard my dream went back downstream, Cobordon yeah, and Davenport. And I followed you, Big River. Where'd it go? Woo! Nine nine seven. Seven. Nine oh. Wait, does my life not matter? said she's been here, but she's gone, boy, she's gone. I found her trail in Memphis, but she just walked up the bluff. She raised a few eyebrows and then she went on down alone. Now won't you bat it down by Baton Rouge, River Queen, roll it on. Take that woman on down to New Orleans. Go on, I've had enough. Stuff my blues down in a gulf. See, she yeah. loves you, Big River, more than me. Tears that I cried for that woman are gonna flood you, big river, and I'm gonna sit right here until I die. Now I talk to weeping willow how to cry, 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 and I showed the clouds how to cover up a clear blue sky, and the tears that I cried for that woman are gonna flood you, big river. And I'm gonna sit right here until I die. My name is Mac, and I'm part of Barking Crew. Hey, I'm Taryn, and I'm the Youth Field Supervisor for Southeast Conservation Corps. We just built these steps, looking good. Appreciate the crew, appreciate the work, Crew 906. Wait, 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 okay. Go. <laughs> Hi, my... <laughs> Hi, my name is Tony and I'm having a lot of trouble. Right I'm struggling. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lo and I need to take a stool softener. Yeah, you too. Yeah, that was a vlog. Oh. First, that was first try. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm ready whenever you are. Ooh. Good. Hi, my name is Sam, and I think we're lost. Hi, my name is Lily, and Colleen, you want me to do yours next? No, I'm not getting in there. <laughs> You're part of the crew, though. 
Okay. <laughs> Polly. Yeah, Lily. You could just do it. Hi, Hi my name is Lily. I'm on crew 906, and they almost left me behind. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pauline, and I'm editing and filming this video. Come spend a day in our life. We wake up at 6, and the cold really manages to shake you up, which is always super nice. Breakfast is at 6.30 and usually consists of oatmeal and or coffee. And then you do the dishes and line up at 7.30 for a morning stretch and check-in. I don't care if it rains or freezes, long as I got my plastic cheese. I said no, dashboard of my car. After that, we pick up our tools and they pack and head onto the trail to do some trail maintenance and remove rocks and roots. Our first break of the day comes at 10.30 with 15 minutes to take a small snack. Lunch is at 12. What's in my box, right in my now, lunch box? We had two Nature Valley Crunch Bars, Annihilate. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had a turkey wrap, which I have a duplicate of, that has some kale, and avocado mayo, uh -huh. also a peach cup. So perfect. Great. I'm probably gonna save the peach cup for later. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanna eat my snack. Third break is at 3.30 and then we just keep working until around 5 and reach our camp by 5.30. Any reaction to this? Okay, wait, I've got, I've got the scene. The big rock in the back. Back in the front. That's it. <laughs> But then it's time to relax, wash in the creek, read a book, and prepare dinner. This is what we're eating today. I don't know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> for me. It was like childbirth. And I was the whole time on the way there. I was like, oh crap. And my medic was like, it's okay. There's like, a, we're probably gonna get her to the hospital. I was like, nope. I don't know, bro. I don't want to do this. <laughs> and we got there, and then she was like, I've had two kids at my house. I want to have this one here too. And I was like. <laughs> No, you don't. Why no, you don't. You call we are getting to the hospital. <laughs> and the whole time I hear kind of what's going on in the background. And then she's like, okay, yep, uh, Sam, pull over. And I was like two, maybe three minutes away. I'm like acting like I didn't hear what she said. I was like, no. Nah. She's like, Sam, you need to pull over and get what? back here right now. And so I was like, oh, shit. So I just pulled over on the side of, like, the city road. And it was, like, radioing to our HQ. I was like, next to, like some like ollie's tire shop and something like <laughs> requesting like fire backup to help us deliver this baby mm -hmm. and i oh got back God. there and literally within like 60 sec within 100 seconds at least this baby just like slid out and all of a sudden i was holding a like slimy baby in the middle of the street that was not looking good because the mother had used so there's something called smithconian oh. staining so it was like brown and green stains oh. and i was like and it didn't look good too and i was like oh crap and so then i handed it to my medic and she started like Doing suctioning all out all the yeah. stuff i got to freaking cut the like Yo. clamp and cut the umbilical cord hold, held the placenta and i was like this is like an alien thing. Had to put it in a bag. <laughs> and then like I was taking vitals on the mom and the baby ended up being okay. Once the dishes are done, we clean and pack everything up before going to bed. So right now I'm doing something really fun and exciting and I'm putting this bag into this box because we're supposed to put it in this box. Mm -hmm. But we didn't. Yeah, so we now locked it's, it. And it's locked already. Yeah, so we're so. putting it in this box and hoping the bear doesn't come and kill us in the middle of the night. This is a super smart bear. And it kills all of us. That's so pretty. That is muscovite within the rock. It's melted into it.
about the steps. Would you recommend the steps? Lily, your experience using the steps. Are they are they nice stairs? Fingers trace your every outline. Oh yeah, yeah. Paint a picture with my hands. Oh and back and forth we sway like branches in a storm. Change your weather still together when it ends. That may be Thank you. 